Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock it all with this glitch video. Pretty much everything's gonna be in this, and this might be my last video before season 4 because we're holding the new glitches for season 4 so drop a like let's try to get 450 likes if you guys are hyped for these new glitches in season 4 i'm only posting this because 75 percent of these glitches will be patched uh in season 4 so do these as soon as possible Here's the winner for the giveaway. If you guys want to win next, I'm going to be ending Season 3 with a banger giveaway. One winner will be for the nuke skin, one for this blueprint right here, and one for Orion Camo to enter. Just drop a like, drop a comment down below, and drop a sub with post notifications. If you guys need help with their guys' camos like Polyatomic, Orion, all the mastery camos, or even the nuke skin, then make sure you guys go check out Mitch. So if you guys need help with those things, then you guys should get help from there. I also do my giveaways through them, so the links will uh, be down below if you guys want to check that out. I'm not claiming this to be new, but this is like a video rolling into season 4 and most likely my last video until that does drop on Wednesday because most of these will be patched. So if you guys want to take advantage of them to unlock all camos, uh, XP, blueprints, skins, all that good stuff, then do it right now. So just start up plunder and then make sure you guys have stims and thermites on your guys' classes. Go over to a ammo depot and all you guys have to do is throw the thermite on the thing and then stim yourself and you guys will get 1000 XP per stim. So you guys have to take damage from the thermite and then every time you guys run out you guys can just go over to the ammo crate and refill. It's so simple to do. I've posted this before and it still does work. I don't know how they didn't patch this but this glitch still works. All you want to do is start up plunder quads. Now when you guys enter into a game, legit all you have to do is go over to a most wanted contract, grab it, and then uh, just pretty much kill yourself. So have a nade in your guys' loadout every time. Now after you guys grab that most wanted and then kill yourself, uh, the game's gonna trip out and it's gonna think that you guys completed the most wanted contract and it's gonna give you guys the XP for your guys' weapon as well that you guys had in hand and also your guys' level as well. Now you guys can keep doing this over and over again in this footage. I pretty much maxed out a single weapon in legit 5 minutes. I just went around the map collecting most wanted contracts and then killing myself with my nade and that's legit all you have to do. I went from level 1 to 27 in about 5 to 6 minutes in this footage. Now, if you guys need someone to do this with, drop a comment down below to find people. Uh, make sure you guys are on the same servers or join my Discord down below. People are always looking uh, for other people to do this with. Don't get it twisted. This does work with one other player, uh, but the more you have, the better. And that goes for both the XP part and the camo part. Now, let's get into the camo section. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, let me just show you guys. As you guys can see on this weapon, my M13, I do not have these two camos unlocked. After you guys will see, they are unlocked. This will also work with the event camos like you guys can see right here shotgun you guys will see progress at the end. So pretty much it's the same thing you guys want to get into the same game. Uh, if you guys didn't know before when plunder was added even in warzone 1 the camel progress wasn't counting for some reason but now it finally does. I'm not sure if this is meant to be or it's like a little exploit for now but you guys can actually do this right now. So you guys get into the same game uh, both you players uh, or you guys can do this with uh, many other players as well. It doesn't matter just uh, find people in the comments or in my discord and then once you guys are in the same game just land here again or any place where you guys want to meet if you don't land near a ammo crate make sure you guys have scavenger on your class uh, spawn in with that uh, loadout that you want the camels on and just tell the other player to land right close to you and then you guys can complete your challenges for example i need a point blank uh, kill sorry and kills from behind and that's what i'm doing in this footage the reason we're doing no fill is well uh, because when you spawn without a team with other players that aren't around you guys will spawn far away but with no fill you guys will spawn close to your guys's death spot and also you guys can land back in the next 20 to 25 seconds which is so fast you guys will also see that the progress does save 100 and it does stick before in plunder you weren't able to do this but it's finally working right now i'm not sure with this update it's like an exploit or something or is working before but in plunder one in warzone one sorry this never worked camels never saved but now they do with this little exploit, I'm not sure, exploit method, whatever. 
all you guys want to do is load up into DMZ, put the weapon that you guys need the attachments on in your guys' loadout, uh, press confirm, and pretty much just start up the DMZ match. Uh, when you guys spawn in, you guys want to head over to a buy station. Now, if you guys didn't know by the buy stations, there's also a station where you guys can equip attachments. So you guys want to head over there. Each attachment does cost 3,000 uh, cash. So that's the only downside. So you need to collect loot and DMZ and get 3,000 cash for each attachment that you guys want to unlock. After you do that, all you guys have to do is go into that station, buy the attachment that you guys want unlocked, and equip it. So buy that attachment. Also, each game, the attachments are random. As you guys can see, some of the attachments are locked and you guys uh, can't select them. And some of them, you guys can. You guys will see that this weapon that I have is such a low level that none of the attachments are going to be unlocked. After you guys equip the attachments that you guys want, or one, or multiple, then you guys want to exfil with that weapon. Once you guys are fully exfilled and you guys leave and uh, you guys are just pretty much done with the DMZ match, you guys can go over to that loadout and now save it as a custom mod and there you guys go. You guys are done with this glitch. The keyboard these are the uh, button shortcuts that you guys uh, need to use so they're going to be on the screen right now as you guys can see and you guys will also be using the arrow buttons on the keyboard the arrow buttons are only needed if we have to go up and down as you guys will see in the footage so as you guys can see we do not have polyatomic or orion on this weapon and we're going to do uh, poly first and then orion so back up to this screen and now pull up the screen where it uh, gives you the option to save it as a custom mod by pressing L2 with the controller. Now with the right analog stick, move it to the top. Now press the PSN home button on your controller and then press it again and now use the corresponding key button to back out. So in this instant, the first step, we would have to press the backspace button so to back out to the screen and you guys want to do that for every single step as you guys can see. So press the PSN button and now press the PSN button again and now we got to switch it. So we're going to be going to a weapon that has the camo that you want to transfer over. So you will be using in this instant a Q or the left arrow button or right arrow button uh, in any instant to get to the other weapon and you guys gotta keep doing that over and over again so press the uh, PSN home button and then press it again and right when you guys press it press the key button corresponding to the step to get to the gun that has the camo you guys want to transfer over for example right here I would press the PSN home button press it again and right after I press it I would press the space button because it corresponds to X to get to the camo screen from this screen, save the uh, weapon already as a custom mod. Now go over to the camo that you guys want and select it. Uh, that camo has to be on the other weapon. So pretty much you guys will transfer over camos. Now back out. Now update your uh, custom mod. Save it as a custom mod so you guys never lose it. And it's always in your guys' armory. Now you guys will see that it's there. It's there to use. And you guys will also see right here. It shows that I don't have the camo but it is selected. So the first one that you guys can use it on is the ISO Hemlock. You guys want to go over there, go over to Gunsmith, and then you guys want to press on the receiver. Once you guys press on the receivers, go over to Skins, and as you guys can see, we have the Loose Ends uh, Blueprint for absolutely free. And now you guys can even add those other attachments from that uh, Loose Ends Blueprint, and you guys can just make the complete gun. You guys will also see that I do not have this Blueprint in the shop i mean in my uh, armory and you guys will see that it says it's in the shop available to buy so i do not have it at all also make sure you guys save it as a custom mod so you guys don't lose it i'm gonna show you guys a few other guns that you guys can use and uh, i'm pretty sure this works with a bunch of other guns as well that i don't show in the video so make sure you guys get uh, just explore and just look around the gun that this works on is the mp5 so put on the lockman go over to the receiver press on skins and as you guys can see this is a paid skin that you you guys can't get and you guys will also see that i do not have this in my armory once again you guys can add attachments to make the full gun you guys just gotta find the attachments after that make sure you guys save it as a custom mod also some of these attachments will carry over to other guns as well so you guys can put these uh blueprint attachments on other guns as well as you guys can see, I do not have this blueprint bought. I go over to store and there you guys go. It's available to buy. So this glitch is actually really cool to get some of these uh, paid blueprints for absolutely free. Now let's move over to the other gun. The third gun is the STB. So put that on, go over to the receiver, uh, press skins, 
so square and as you guys can see the black ink is there uh, you guys will see that i do not have it in the armory and i will go over to the uh, store thing and it's going to be available to buy so it's a free blueprint once again you guys just got to find the right attachments the attachment skins put them on and you guys can build the gun once again these attachments also carry over to some of the other guns once again, make sure you guys remember to save it as a custom mod and I will go over to my armory, go over to store and you guys will see that I do not have it bought uh, right here. You guys can see. Once you guys put on all the attachments, you guys can actually build the full blueprint weapon. So make sure you guys remember that. So for this all you need to do is remove the laser don't put that first first put one of these on the under barrel and then go over to optic put any optic at all and now go over to the laser this one right here and then equip one of these skins of those lasers uh, you guys can uh, go back and see what laser it was but you guys have to equip a skin now as you guys can see we have the iron sight sniper right here it's actually pretty cool to use in game as well this one's a quick tip as you guys can see you cannot equip a muzzle on this gun so equip a barrel first and now you guys can equip that muzzle if you guys want. For this we're gonna use the STB all you have to do is go over to the under barrel and then equip this right here. Now we're gonna head over to the uh, firing range and you guys will see that the middle part is invisible just like the LMG. This one's actually really cool as well as you guys can see. This glitch, like I said, this is the new after patch. So all you want to do is put the X13 auto in the secondary class and now equip the akimbo pistol. Now head over to the barrel, go over to the impact point barrel and this only works if you guys have a skin for that barrel pretty much. So a lot of you guys will have it, most likely everyone does have it. A lot of those barrels do carry over to other guns. So now you guys can select that skin version of the impact barrel and put it on. Those two attachments together, that's fine. If you guys go in game, you guys can see on the screen that they are invisible and you guys know you guys did the glitch right like i said this is the new after patch so all you want to do is put the x13 auto in the secondary class and now equip the akimbo pistol now head over to the barrel go over to the impact point barrel and this only works if you guys have a skin for that barrel pretty much so a lot of you guys will have it most likely everyone does have it a lot of those barrels do carry over to other guns so now you guys can select that skin version of the impact barrel and put it on now normally you guys cannot put an impact barrel on the x13 while the akimbo is equipped this this is the new after patch to it to do that now you guys are probably wondering what the camel part is so basically with this you guys can combine camels so pretty much you guys can put two camels onto one gun like polyatomic and orion as you guys saw when i went to the firing range uh the uh, pistol wasn't invisible and it's supposed to be after you guys put those two attachments together that's fine if you guys go in game you guys can see on the screen that they are invisible and you guys know you guys did the glitch right so you can either use this as an invisible gun uh, slash a camel combining thing. So pretty much the camel that you put on the X13 and the attachments, that camel and those attachments uh, will carry over to the primary gun. For example, we're going to have a sight on the X13 with polyatomic and it's going to transfer over to our primary gun and that gun might have like Orion or gold and the polyatomic on that sight will carry over to the primary gun as you guys will see what I mean. It's going to clear up with the footage if you guys are confused. So put the uh, camo on the X13 that you wanna combine with the primary gun camo. So for example, in the primary slot, we have a weapon, and if that had gold, and then the X13 had polyatomic, the combined camos will be gold and polyatomic uh, together pretty much. So those attachments from the X13 carry over to the primary gun with polyatomic. This is the only and new way to do this. It's actually super simple to do. Like it only takes like two buttons to click. And yeah, the, pretty much that's how you do it. So uh, this does work in uh, first person mode, but only other players can see it. As you guys will see, you won't be able to see it, but other people will and they're going to be tripping out. If you guys play in third person, then you guys will also be able to see it. Now, mainly like uh, all these other players in your lobby are going to be tripping out. They're going to be thinking you're modding and they're going to be like, how did he get that? So it's actually pretty cool to do. Also, this does work in Warzone. Controller 1, that's the account that has a skin that you guys want to dupe over to the other account. Controller 2 is going to be the account that doesn't have the skin. So on Controller 1, the first account that has the skin, you guys want to go over to DMZ, go over to Active Duty. In the second slot, put any operator that isn't the operator uh, that has the skin you guys want to dupe over. With Controller 2, which is the account that doesn't have the skin, you guys want to go and do the same thing. Uh, head over to the Active Duty, but put the operator in the first 
first operator slot and make sure you guys don't put the operator that you guys want the skin from that's one of the most important things you guys have to make sure you guys don't put any of the operator that you want the skin from in both accounts prior to doing and starting the glitch after that restart your game fully and when you guys get to this screen right here you guys want to press x with the second account and log in fully now we're gonna connect both accounts into DMZ and we're just gonna glitch that out. So on the DMZ mode at the top, press X at the same time or A on both controllers to get it connected. We luckily got it the first time. It might take you guys a few tries. Now with controller two, head over to active duty and select the first operator. When you get to this screen with the first controller, press X and in the second slot, uh, select any operator slash skin that you guys want. And we're gonna be doing the rose skin. So we're gonna select that. Now equip it with the first controller and now with uh, this screen right here with your second controller equip that skin that you just equipped with the first controller. Now you guys can back out and you guys can see that skin is in our DMZ uh, loading screen as well as the Warzone one. When uh, from this screen right here just disconnect the controller and now you guys can go over to Warzone right here and you guys will see that's here as well. And just make sure you guys do uh, the navigation through the top screen. So if you guys do it from the bottom right here where I'm showing right now and I go into DMZ from here, the skin will disappear. So you guys have to do it from the top. So at the very top where it says DMZ, Warzone quads and stuff like that, you guys have to select it from there. Like I said before, this might be my last video before season four because we are holding the new glitches for season four. Of course, we're gonna be doing that. So this was like a update videos and 75% uh, of these or all of them will be patched in season four. So if you guys wanna use them uh, for fun, just do them as soon as possible because they will be getting patched. That's the reason I made this video for everyone. So you guys can see what the most OP glitches are right now that still work but we'll be getting patched, so it's your last chance to do them if you guys want. Now drop a like on this video. Let's try to get 450 likes if you guys are hyped for these season four glitches. Make sure you guys drop us up with post notifications. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers, and that would help out a ton. Join the Discord down below if you guys ever need help with anything. Follow me on IG and Twitter. Those links will be down below as well. Share this video with all your friends and family. This has been your boy Bubs, and I'm out. Peace. Going, but I know I can't keep flowing Cause the Lord he gave me words The paper I can't